Run away a train. Wa go on, wa go on, wa go on, wa go on, wa go on out the inner the internet well. It is officially the weekend in a peeps. It is officially the weekend. Yes, hope everybody are enjoy them weekend so far. Tonight and Friday night. You don't know some people probably are gonna party out tonight. Some people are gonna enjoy themselves. You don't know the thing. One life we have to live, so we have to live it to the fullest. You see me? Bless up to everybody over the pan Facebook. You see me? Don't see Karen there. Your Karen will go and bless up. Prudence, you're there as well. Big up yourself. Welcome. You see it? Over the pan YouTube. Big up Teresa. You don't know, so you always jump on quick, fast, and early. Malibu, there you too. Big up yourself. Mark Robert, so I'll go on. Where you say, more have here the roots, reggae money. <laughs> bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up. So, yeah, man, I hope everybody having an awesome Friday evening so far. Whatever on the plans may be, just make sure you say, I want to do it safe. Yes, Zane, make sure you say, I want to do it safe. Make sure you just go on and say, all right, people, just share out the stream. You know, we do it already. Just share out the stream and get it out there. Make more people can jump on. If a Facebook on the pan, just click that share button there. If a YouTube on the pan, just click that share button there. And make some more people forward on the show tonight. You understand? All right, so, as me said, peeps, Tonight's topic, as you can see, engineer, may I beg you, please put the thumbnail on the screen there for them, no, please. You see? Tonight's topic, as you can see, it says, My experience in hell deported to Jamaica. <laughs> yes, a true story, people. You understand what I say? Yes, it's a true story. So, what more for discuss right now? Deported to Jamaica, first and experience in hell. See it? First and experience in LD and welcome, welcome Dian. See? It? Listen now, people. So last night we had a conversation. And we had a lot of new viewers upon the show last night. And a whole heap of people call in and share them views and opinions upon last night. Topic. Now, one thing I have to say is this, Gene Wagwan, welcome. One thing I have to say is this, people, before me even get into the topic. What I do right now on Unstoppable TV, I do it out of the fact that I love doing it, right? I love to forward on and come have a conversation with you. I love to forward on and all the reasoning with you. Me talk to you, you talk back to me in the chat, I want to call you, I want to share your views. And, you know, we build that kind of relationship like that where we hold good conversations and good reasoning. You see, Jean? So, what happened right now, Shanika, Wago, and welcome. See? Me not knowing that me doing this out of love, right? It actually reach to some people sometime and, 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 and touch them in a certain ways where I myself didn't even know what was happening. I mean, I got a few calls from certain people sometime and them really have some things to me. Where people, you know, sometimes some people just want to have somebody to have a conversation with. Want to have somebody where they can really talk to. Because believe it or not, a lot of we are around and we don't have... Nobody if you talk to sometimes. You understand? We, we, we might have family, we might have friends, but sometimes we can't even talk to them and have a real conversation with them without them judging you, without them classing you any type of way. You understand? So, I've had a lot of people reach out to me sometimes just after the show because my number always on the screen. Barbara Chambers, welcome. Right? Now, Christopher Wagwan, you're forward. Now, last night's show ended a little bit later than usual it going about two and a half hours you know because it was a it was a real hot topic and a lot of people was there and you know the can the conversation continued on in other wee hours of the morning this morning i got a phone call it was about 3 3 30 this morning strangely right because them kind of time them in a answer my phone right but the phone ring it so happened that i had it right next to me so me answer it I answer it in a little bit suspicious way because I say, yo, who the hell this is a call me them kind of time here, the morning with the respect. So when I answer the phone, the brother come on the phone and him say, unstoppable big man thing. First thing I want to say is, my apologies for calling them kind of time here, my boss, because I know it kind of later. If you lady there beside you, you know, apologize to me. But, you know, I did your show for the very first time, which was last night, right? He said, I did your show for the very first time tonight and I observe the things them where you say. I mean, observe the call as them were calling and Anne Marie Wagwan, see? Observe the call as them were calling and 
I listen to your reason. I'm a listen to your reason with the people them. I'm re- listen to the people them reason with you. I'm a see how the people them a reason with you in the chat. Right? I'm a get for realize say, your show is not one way. It's just a sim- it's not a simple show. If say my brother, may I tell you something? You're dead eh? and your show sure catch me. If say my brother, listen, when I come on YouTube, me not see much channels where I can go up on and really sit down and stay up on a live stream for five minutes. Because what I'm a talk about, it make me feel dumber than when I go on if I stay long and listen to them. So sometimes when I go up on a live show, sometimes I just watch for five minutes and then I click off because them comment section full of beer cussing and that one year war with that one day and that one day cuss off that one day. And him said, my brother, listen, your show last night was not like that. And I actually stay from me click on from the beginning straight to the end. And I said, all right, brother, I respect, but I really not you call me for to tell me this kind of time in the morning. He said, no, you know, my brother. He said, listen, after your show finished last night, I take the time and I go back through some more of your videos where you have for your platform and I watch them from start to finish. And I literally just done your very last video a while ago. I literally just done watch it, right? And he said, my brother, I did have to call you and reason with you and make you understand what you do for me in the night, yeah. He said, when I watch some of your videos, then I listen to some things where you say some people out there go to my brother. He touched me. And he said, brother, my life right now is not the easiest one, you know. That's how the man said to me, you know. The man said, answer for me, I'm going to tell you, my life right now is not the easiest one. He said, answer for me, I live in a little board box. You see? The man said, I live in a little board box. And I said, what do you mean by you live in a board box, brother? The man said, the oh, so I live in a right now is a little board box. And it's stuck in our little bushy community in our Portland. See? So I said, brother, we can't talk about this little more because sleep has beat me. Man, I said, I understand it, brother, but I want your reasoning with me right now because I need somebody to talk to unstoppable. See? The man said, if I never feel your show tonight, I don't know what I do because the pressure take me. And you sure captivate me tonight and keep me on for them two hours there where you depend on the show. See? The man said, brother, I'm going to tell you my story. I'm going to listen. I'm going to find out out there from the internet people them right now on your show tomorrow. If anybody I got you when me I got you or been through when me I got you right now, brother. See? So I said, all right, family. Because I could hear it in the man's voice where him they really want somebody to talk to. You understand, Teresa? So I said, all right. Me give him a listening here. The man said, I'm going to tell you my story from start to finish. And I know why you feel like say, I'm not going to look for me, my brother. I just want to talk. See? He said, I'm 40 plus years old right now. And he said, for 25 years of time life, he live overseas. He said, when I'm born, he never born a Jamaica, but his mother and father are Jamaicans. He said when they migrate from the Caribbean island where they, where they born, where they born, he go in our next, in, in, the, in, the, in the States, and when he end up in the States with his mother and father, he still in a pampas and still a drink out a bottle. The man said, he never got Jamaica as a baby. He never know nothing about Jamaica, he never know nobody at Jamaica. So him there in the States with his mother and his father. Go to school. Live him life. Start to build theme life. The way how him want to live. You understand? The man said while him dead, his mother and his father succumb to a little accident and him lose them. All of this happened. In his twenties. Man said him go to school. Get a good job, him lose him mother and him father, but him still hold the fate and, uh, and go and do him thing same way. Him say him dead, he meet a nice young lady and him fall in love with the young lady. You understand? Him and her try to build life together. You know, talks of even marriage was in the cards and all of that. You understand? While now, him a do that, him say my work hard and I try to save some money and I try to, you know, make life good for him and him girlfriend, you know, Pitney come in at the play, him say him get three children, right, while him in at the States with the girl, 
right? Him say, all right, no. One day him go to work and him say, him biggest mistake. We land him in a position and the situation where him in a right now was just hanging around the wrong crowd or being in the wrong place at the wrong time. See it? Man say, one day him go to work and when him go to work, him, him leave work and I go home and right through the very same corner where him live. He stop at one of his friend's yard. He said, normally, he would have just walk past and yell him friend because his friend normally sit down on him step out and do away. And he said, he would have just normally walk past him. He wouldn't just stop. He would have just normally walk past and yell him and say, yo, what's going on, brother? You're good? And go on him. Yeah. But he said, this specific day, he said, he stop at his friend's yard. And he said, he sit down on the step with his friend for a little while and him and his friend there are reason. And he said, there's no reason about nothing out of the way. Them nah do nothing illegal. Him said them just dead on a reason like how man would a reason. See, Daniel Thompson, welcome. See, man say him dead and no one. And next youth walk up. And when the youth walk up, him come sit down beside them. But him say him no know the youth. But him friend know the youth. So him nah, him say him nah think nothing of it. You know, him say him nah think nothing of it. Cause him must say, all right, my brother know him, so we can just there and go and reason. And him say the three of them dead swing and them a reason and attack. You see, June Gerald, welcome. Right? So the three of them did the sit down and them a reason and them a talk. And nothing out of the way, nothing no, no illegal activities, no kind of illegal reasoning, nothing like that now go on. The man said them just did it have regular conversations. And him not think nothing funny. He said when him look, him see a car swing up on the, on the three of them. And the man them jump out and tell them, say, yo, go up on the wall. So when him realize, him realize he has some plain clothes officers. I understand. I'm saying when the man them jump out now, I'm saying I'm not resist or nothing, I'm allow them for search him. You know? Them do them search, them ask him say if he have anything where he need for this close say him have pan in possession. He say officer I not have nothing. He said the man them still put him in the vehicle with the other two youth them and care them with. See? He said the whole ride he must say to himself, say, why them man you care me away? Because them not find nothing for me. You know? So why? Nicky Hart and blessings, blessings, welcome, welcome, Rose, big up, welcome to Rose. See? It? The man say him dead. Eh? And him, the whole ride, he must say, why them money are carrying away? Because them not find nothing for me. You know, them not have no reason for carrying away. But him say him no, say because him a good youth, him not no record, him never commit no kind of offense before. See? It? Him say, alright, him just dead and him a go down at the station because them a go release him. Anyway, Jason Buchanan, welcome. See it? Man say him, they end up at the station. Him not know whether or not the next two youth them together. Right? Him not know whether or not the next two youth them together. But him know say them put him in a room by himself. Him say them dead for hours I question him. Them left him in the room. Then them forward back and question him some more. Them left him and forward back and keep on and drill him some more. So till him I say, officers, one and one lamp on me for. Who are the charge? One and one lamp on me for. Them said to him, say, them find a, a, a bag of weed on the ground. And one of them see when him drop it. So he said, officer, no, 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 can't say, I want to see when me drop no weed, because I never have no weed. See? It? The man said, no, 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 can't say, I want to see when me drop no weed, because I total lie that to not tell for me. He said, them walk out of the room again and tell him, said, them are going to charge it. So them come back, one well, next one come back into the room now. We never did question him, none at all. You can walk on blessings. See? It? Any of blessings. See? It? Man said them come back in the room. That one he never questioned him none at all. And him come in the room. And when him come in the room, him say, you listen. Now the man in him 20s, you know. Come in the room and him say, you listen me. The best thing you do right now is just own it, you know, because the next two youth them I say uh, you own it. Them I put it upon you. The two of them I say a year thing. The man I say, yo, Bridget, listen me now, man. And on my own, me never bring nothing there. Pass me a pass and me just stop and I talk to the man them. Right? And on my own, so nobody can tell me, say, I'm my own. So the, the, him said the officer, say, yo, you, me I try for work with you. 
The easiest way for you to go home right now is just for you own it up. You're, you're innocent, you're not, not charged, you're never in a problem before. The most you're going to get is one little slap on the wrist, one little misdemeanor. The man said, all right, you hear me, officer? You see, since I did not try to tell me, I mean, no, I'm innocent, I want a liar. Officer walk out of the room and come back and ask him say, if he have a liar. He say, officer, I'm not a liar, you know. So the, the officer them appoint him a liar. Right? When they appoint him a liar, the liar will come, come represent him, walk in the room, and the man said, the very first thing the liar said to him is, accept what they might give you, own it, and just go home. The man said, but liar, you're supposed to represent me, or if you come tell me, if you own up to something where me know me not do. See it? Avron blessings. See it? The man said, I nah don't own up to something I'm going to do. The lawyer said, this is the easiest way for you to get off of that charger. Yeah. See it? You don't know, you know, have no charges. Your name clean. You have a clean police record. The most you're going to get is a little misdemeanor. And the two of you go home early. This done with. Right? The man said, say, all right. Nathaniel, welcome. Jason, what are going the man say, him say, all right, you hear me, you hear me, all right then. Since you know say, this is what I have to do. If you know me, I go my yard, all right then, I will own it up. They make the man sign a confession, say, uh, him drop the bag of grum. Right? They make the man sign a confession, say, uh, him drop the bag of grum. The man say, unstoppable, listen my brother, you don't know me and me don't know you. Tonight is the first time I come for your show. Tonight is the first time me and you talk. But my brother, I swear upon my life and my pitney them life. And never me did have that thing they with them say me have. See? The man said, him sign the thing. When him think him go go home, him see the police them come and put on cuff on him and care him go put him in our cell. See? Man say him dead in the cell and him a try to figure out why him dead. Him say a couple of hours later, you know, about three days him dead for lock up. Then him see them come for him and bring him a coat, straight a coat, about three days after. Right? Man say him go a coat. When him go a coat, the judge put off the case, but give him bail. Man say him a fight it back and forth, him a go a coat. Back and, back and forth him a got court because he must say even though the lawyer tell him say, for, for, for plea guilty to it he must say him say walk go in at the, the, the courtroom the day and he say when the, when the judge asks him if he's guilty he say no your honor I'm not guilty right he say back and forth him a got court and still a try to fight it right he say them postpone it postpone it postpone it postpone it till it gets so tiring right until one day he finally got caught, and when he got caught, the judge find him guilty. The man say him get one year for something where I never feel him on. One year. See him? Man say him do him time. And when it done, him thinks he might come out because he's legal in the States. You know? He go through the proper channels and get all our him need for have. You understand? So he get all of the proper documentations and everything where he need to have, even though he was not born in the States, even though his mother and father was Jamaican, and they were they, they, they never born in the States, he do all of what he did need to do and get started out. So he might figure, say, all right then, you know, when we come, when we done that time, yeah, everything I go good, man. I don't have to worry about nothing. Man say, after him done him time, and them free him, he say him leave from one jail, to one to a next jail. Him say as soon as him walk out of that prison there, a immigration officers come pick him up. See? Immigration officers come pick him up and bring him at the detention center. So the man has said, Well no, bring me a detention center for. You know, I'm not illegal here. Them nobody na give him the answers or nothing. Him girlfriend I try to fight it, him say, you know. Nobody no care, nobody no listen to nothing what none of them have to say. See? Him go so boom now, see it, but go, go and bless it. See? Him go so boom now and say, 
you know, for a period of time, they the cast them can't deport him until them have enough reason to deport him. He said, him say, him have a lawyer fight it to try the hardest for them to deport him. He said, eventually, them ship him off of Jamaica. The man said, him feel like him life end right there so because him not have nobody at Jamaica. The man said, him never even have a Jamaican passport. What them allow him to enter Jamaica in a, was a travel document where them print up for him over there. They make a travel document for him leave the US and end up at Jamaica. See? Man, so when he reach at Jamaica, he said when the plane land, he feel like him heart as swell big in his chest. He feel like him heart as well big in his chest to him a panic. The man said he don't know where to turn. He said he don't know whether he go left or right because he don't know nobody at Jamaica. Right? He said, when they come off of the plane, officers escort them off of the plane. And when the officer them escort them off of the plane, he said they go put them in our room. Because him and a couple other deportees did end up down there. See? He said the officer them go put them in our room and he sit down in the room. And the whole time he might try to figure out what him next move are going to be. He don't know what to do, Natania. See? He said he don't know what him next move are going to be. He said, him sit down there and him just a watch the other youth them just a go one by one and him sit down there, he can't go nowhere. He said, officers come in and carry him in our next room and start asking him some questions like them a debrief him and thing. You know, ask him if he's a family at Jamaica, ask him how many trips, how many visits he ever come at Jamaica, all of them things there. He said, him explain to them, say, him not have nobody at Jamaica, he don't know nobody at Jamaica, he don't know where to go. Right? Him say one of the one of the officers them, JDF officer, I think him say, said to him, say, listen, there is a church where you can go stay. We can give the, 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 the phone number, and you can go to the church, then we make you stay there for the night. Right? Then we put you up. Man say, him accept the number. And when him reach at the church, right? Him say him dead and wago and blessings. Man say him daddy and the church people them tell him say him can stay there for one night because the space, them policy is only for people stay there one night and then the following day them have to move right along. So him say him nah, no way else for go so him accept it and him stay there for the night. You know but for the whole time him daddy him say him lay down in the place where him there and him say what him I go do tomorrow because him don't know nobody at Jamaica, him don't know where to go, him don't know who him I go call. Right? The man say while him daddy one worker, we work at the church. He see him that the man in and him ask him, say, well, you know, him start, him and him start to have a conversation. See? The worker tell him, say, all right. There's this hotel where you can go stay, you know. Them price reasonable. You know, them price reasonable. You can go stay there. At least you can get one couple of days because they don't charge all it. Right? Man say, he get the information and he go to the hotel and when he go to the hotel he say the, 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 the deplorable condition where the place in a, never even bother him because he just did want somewhere for lay him head and know say him no out of door he said the little couple dollar way he did have upon him when they arrest him was why he have because they give him back his belongings right he said he did have him jewel with them, he did have him chain, he did have him, 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 him ring, he did have him watch them and all them things. But he little clothes them while he have, a man said he have them in a one little plastic bag. See? man said I'm going to the room, and I'm going to the room, get the room, you know, say, all right, I'm going to build back this up for one couple of days because the money where I have can last this up. You understand? He said I'm going to boom now and dead. And while I'm dead, the man said I'm so tired because Everything is like it make him depressed. It's like everything has come down upon him 100% hard. The man said, just land upon the bed in the, in the little ramping shop where he's staying. And when he land upon the bed, the man said, knock out cold. He said, wake up the next morning now and say, all right, he's going to try to call him girlfriend overseas so she can start to put some things in motion to try to work and getting him back there. 
you know, and send him some money and thing, and so he can stay afloat. The man said when he wake up and reach over upon the counter, where he knows he put on him belongings, the man said when he wake up, the only thing they left him with in the room was his life and the short pants when he sleeping and one marina. He said they come into the room and clean out the room, take everything, all the clothes they have in a plastic bag. A man said he's him, him so grateful that he now wake up. Because probably if he did wake up, they would have killed him. See? Man said when he get up, he walk go to the, the front desk of the, the hotel where he must stay. And he say, somebody just robbed me. You know? Somebody come into the room and they rob me and take everything. I have my jewelry, my clothes, them, my phone, everything they take. He said the people at the front desk say, if he sit, who come into the room? He said, no. He said, well, they, him say the people tell him, say, well, there is nothing where we can do for you. The man said, what do you mean there is nothing you can do? I'm staying, I'm a guest at your hotel and I got robbed. And you're telling me there is nothing you can do. Look at the cameras. He said, when he said to them, say, look at the camera, the people look upon him and start laughing and say, camera? <laughs> the man said, I walk to the, the police station. Maslin, welcome. The man said, I walk to the police station in Adania. And when he walked to the police station, he explained to the police them what happened. He said, because he now have not one piece of identification, no documentation for proof, say he is actually Jamaican. He said, nothing no come out of it. He said, the police them never even want to do as far as go to the hotel when he go make the report. He said, they never even want to go to the hotel to ask no questions. Man said, he left the, 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 the police station. And I try to figure out why him next move I go be. He don't know what to do after this. He feel like him, him, him feel like him there in a hell the man say. Man say him feel like the whole world has crashed down upon him at that moment. See? Susie Neal, welcome. The man say, him dead and him say, him can remember at one point when him did much younger, his mother did bring him a Jamaica, but him just couldn't remember where exactly because it's not like him go there frequent. Him say, him sit down upon the sidewalk. Down a town him there, you know, Kingston, you know. Man say, him sit down upon the sidewalk. And him beat him brain. Him say, him can remember that where him stay. There was a movie theater close to where him stay. But him just don't know the name of the area or where exactly it is. So he said the only thing where he could have remember is that there is a movie theater there. So he said he start to ask people where the, where the closest movie theater is in a Kingston. And people start to tell him, say, well, one day around here, so one day there, so you can go check out that one day or whatever. Man say him walk and walk and walk until he reach to the movie theater and he see something where he recognize. Right? The man say, after my youth, his mother bring him a Jamaica one time, you know. The man said, he see something where he recognized and he said, all right, he start to follow it and he start to follow his memory until he end up where he see the yard where he remember, he think of the yard where he remember where he and his mother did stay when they come there. Right? The man said, he go there and he start to ask people. He said, he just start to call his mother's name. And I said, you know that lady? He said, the first couple of people where he asked them, said they don't know who name so. He said, some of them not even answer him. Till him walk go to a youth and him say, him say, him call him mother name again and him say, you know that lady? And him say, the youth say, you are who you are come ask man who me know, if, if me know that woman here. Who you? So him say, because him hear so much things about Jamaica and how aggressive some people can be, him say, him try to stay as calm and him not get aggressive, none at all. Him say, well, you know my brother is my mother, you know. Him say, the youth look upon him and say, hey, your mother? He said, yeah, man, I'm a mother, you know, and, and I just forward to the place. He said, I'm not tell him, not tell him, say, him get deported. He just said, I just forward to the place and, you know, I just try to make some link with, with, with people who know my mother, you know, because she dropped out a little while back and thing, and I just try to make some link with my family member them. You know? They would say, oh. So, I'm my auntie still. He said, yeah. So, he said, so that means, say, that would have make you my cousin. He said, hey, if you say so. So I said, brother, I'm going to be honest with you and tell you this straight up truth, you know, my brother. You know, I said, I deport, I get deported. 
them rob me and all of them things since I come to Jamaica. And since I come, I see a friendly face. Yet nobody no, no, no show me no level of kindness. I, I love her. I, I nothing since I reach, you know. See? Man, man say, the brother turned to him and said, You're a Jamaica, you're there in a dog. Right? He said, Big man thing, I just want some of his steak. I don't know where to turn right, you know. He said, The next question come out of the man's mouth is, Yo, you have money? He said, The next question come out of the man's mouth is, Yo, you have money? See? He said, Big man thing, I don't have no money. They rob me, they take every little sense where I have everything. Right now, the only thing I have are them clothes where you see me. Now. But, what I can do, is I can call my girlfriend and I can get some little change from her every now and then and I can bless you. Man said, all right, then you can stay here, so, you know, but you have to make sure you pay. See? He said, yeah, man, I go, you know. He said, when I go into the house, he said, it's a two-bedroom house. He said, the youth who I talk to live there and two other youth live there. He said, one in a one room, one in a the next room, and one living in the living room. And the man tell him, say, yo, you have a sleep in the living room out here, so with the next brother, you have one piece of sponge on the floor. See? He said, all right, no problem, my boss. See? One said, him dead there, and him asked him for use him phone. And when he asked him for use him phone, him call him girl. And him explain to him, girl, everything we are going with him, and how stress out him is right now, and... You know, nothing I go on for him, man. You know, at the worst hell, him end up in a because of something where him not do. Him say, him girlfriend say, all right, she have to send some money for him, right? But how him going to get it? Cause him not no documentation, him not no ID. Him go to the youth, the same youth we say, my him cousin, and him ask him, Valvinus, blessings, brother. Him say, him ask him, figure go collect the money for him. See? So the girl I go send the money in at the cousin name. The man said, him said, yeah man, no problem, man, we can't do that. Now bear in mind, you know, him leave the girl with the pitney them over there. You know, not that a feel intention to leave him, him pitney them upon the mother alone. Uh, him was the breadwinner. So with him not being there, everything gone to the dogs for him, for the girl, because she have to start fend for herself and the pitney them. Plus, she have to try her hardest to send something for him and Jamaica to every now and then every chance she get because him now nah work down there. See? The man said, the girl decides that she has to send $200 for him. See? Bless up, Mr. Alex. Blessings. See? The man said, my girlfriend decides that she has to send $200 for him. He tell the brother, say, if you go pick it up. Man said, when him go, with the brother go, at the place you go pick up the money people. Man said the brother come out and hand him hundred dollar converted into Jamaican currency that is. Hundred dollar out of the two hundred dollar in game. So he must say, but I mean, me not really too familiar with the Jamaican currency, but you know, I would think that this is more than it's supposed to, you know, I mean it's supposed to come to more than this. Cause hand him the receipt and say, Yeah man, see there that it come to. See? It? But the man said, this is not what you're giving me, bro. See? He said, the man said, yo. This was me take after my time for come here, come collect it, plus for use my name. I hold $100 out of the $200 where the girl send the man. The man done in a bad state already. See? He tell him, said, the $100 where him take after the time where him take for God, they go pick up the money. Plus, for the man use him near. See? Man say, him say, but alright, so do I have to still pay you for this week then? Man say, what you mean? After I run the salvation army, me you make an agreement so you have to pay me. This one me I get right now, not have nothing to do with what you're supposed to pay for where you are still. People, Meanwhile, the man had talked to me. The man break down in her tears on the phone. Literal tears. The man break down in her tears on the phone. Big 40 plus year old man. 
this morning break down in a tears on the phone. And me there with the phone and my ears, poor me not even know what he said to him because I don't know how do I tell this man, say, brother, things are going to get better when the man in a situation where it's so horrible right now, presently. So the only thing I could have done is I said, John was star. See? That's all I could have said is John was star. The man said that continue. For a little while, him dead for a couple more weeks. Him appear the cousin weekly, you know. Him say him continue to ask for use him phone and call the girl and thing and right, get some money and the girl. Things are get harder and harder upon the girl. You know, things are get harder and harder upon the girl because she have to fend for herself, put the pit in them. So you know she can't send for him as much as she would have liked for send for him. The man said one day, you know, him asked for use him phone and call the girl because him run out of money. See? Run out of money. Call the girl and he might explain to the girl, say, listen, the situation that I'm in, I can't get a job, you know, because I have no identification. You understand? I don't know where to start because I don't have no passport, I don't have no, nothing at all for even get an identification. I don't even know what to do because I don't even have my parents' birth certificate, nothing at all. So it's not like I can get these things. The man said, Unstoppable, I felt like I was in hell. See? The man said, I felt like I was in hell. He said, If hell is real, I experienced it firsthand in a Jamaica. See? The man said, When he called the girlfriend and tell her that the girlfriend started crying, she said, Babe, honestly, I'm struggling right now. I'm struggling right now just to make some money and keep things afloat for myself because I have to cover the bills and you know the kids still going to school and you know I understand your situation but sometimes it's really hard and I can't send no money come right now. Man say him go back home and give the, the, the brother him phone and him say yo so when she when she when she want we go pick up that thing there after I'm done Every, t- every, every pick where him go pick up for where the girls and him take something more tight, you know. When the man come back in and give him the food, him say, yo, so when she want we go pick up that thing there? So the man say, him said to him, say, you know what, say, she had tell me, say, uh, next week before she can't do nothing for my brother. Yes, yeah, so how you going to pay your rent this week? That's what the man said to him, you know. Yeah, so how you going to pay your rent this week? Man, I said, brother, well, when she forward it next week, then, you know, maybe we just give you for the two weeks, them one time. Man, I said, brother, I'm done tell you already, you know, no salvation army, me, I run, boy, I say, you know, if you can't pay, you have to leave, you know. See, remember, you know, the man say, must sleep on a floor, on a piece of mattress. See, Tia Wagwan. See, Nadine, blessings. Man say, must sleep on the floor, on a, on a piece of sponge. Right? on a piece of sponge and the man I go say to him say yo me don't tell you already say I no salvation and me me run if you can't pay you have to leave see man say alright brother just do just give me until next weekend and she send something him not tell her him not tell him say the girl say she can't do it you know him just a try to buy some time so that the man not put him out right and I'm going to try to figure out where I'm even going to get that two weeks there from next weekend for game. See? I said, the brother said, all right. Just make sure you say you have my money. You know. See? I said, a couple of days run off and thing. And, you know, I'm there to try to bust him brain. What am I going to do? You know, I'm not going to go up on the road to beg nobody because he said that no inner him nature. If you walk and go up on the road to beg and them thing there. See? The man say him even try one time, him say him, him, him see some youth a clean car glass one time and him say him go out there go try to do it and the youth them beat him and run him and tell him say yo yes I know for him. I feed them turf this. 
man said the youth them beat him the whole of them gang up on him and run him tell him say yo yes enough for him and him say him just go out there and I try if he do what him see them and do him say he never even do that in him life him don't know what it was like but him say him just a try it for see if him could have make a couple dollars see him man said the week come now call back the girl the girl still a cry the same story and I tell him say babes you know me can't do nothing you understand because nothing now go on for me man say him go to the cousin and him tell the cousin Melisha what go on blessings man say him go to the cousin and him tell the cousin see him and when him tell the cousin the only thing the cousin tell him say yo brethren you have to leave you know you have to leave I have sent welcome welcome Man say, you have to leave. Man say, I don't know what to do from there. I'm back on the street again. He say, the cousin even draw a knife off him and tell him, say, yo, come out of the place because he try to reason with him and tell him, say, brother, but remember from the day, I mean, oh, yeah, you know, just, you know, it's just that things are getting a little bit hard for my girlfriend right now and she can't send it as often as she, he said, the, the cousin draw a knife on him and tell him, say, come out of him place or else I pronounce him, I go pronounce him. See it? Man say him beg and plead. And it's like the man nah no heart. It's like the man nah have no heart. See? Him? Man say him pick up him couple little plastic bag them and left. And start for walk the street. Him say when night catch him on the road, him 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 him, him, him lucky sometime if him broke him buck one piece of old car where him could have crawl in a and go sleep. See? Him? Man say him lucky sometime if him buck one piece of old car where him can go crawl in and go sleep pretty boo. You know? Man say him walk and walk and walk until him get frustrated. Him start to look like a madman on the road. No family. Nobody to turn to. Nowhere to go. Man say till him say, alright, you know what? Kingston now work for me, you know. Kingston now nah, work for me. I go try a next parish in a Jamaica, even though I don't know nobody, nowhere else. So it's not like it's going to make a difference, but I try Kingston and it feels so I try somewhere else. Man say, him see a truck driver and him walk up to the truck driver. And when him walk up to the truck driver, him say, Driver, where you go? So the driver say, Yo, where you going to stay, my father? And him start to explain the situation. Him said to a total stranger, him just start to explain the situation to him. And him said the man sit down there and listen to him the whole time. See him? Him said the man sit down there and listen to him the whole time. And after him done that, the man said, you know, say a Portland me live. Portland me a head, you know. Him said, brother. I just ask you a favor, please just make me ride in the back of your truck. I don't know where I go, but I just want to leave town. I just want to end up anywhere else other than yes, where I'm there. The man say, All right, man, you man jump on. See him? He say, He end up that he reach a Portland, and when he reach a Portland. See him? Su- Susanik, blessings, welcome. The man say, When he reach a Portland, the brother say, yo, good luck in the family. I hope things work out for you. You know, Portland, you reach, you know. You know? Him say, him hop out in a Portland square and him don't know where to turn, whether to turn left or right. All him see a people are walk up and down and walk past him. And him don't know what to do. Him say, him just continue and walk and walk and walk and walk. Him don't know where he go. Him not a destination, but him just a walk. The man say, him walk until him find himself end up in a one bush. When nothing not there around him besides bush. Nothing not there around him besides bush. The man say him in the bush for a period of time. And the only thing he might eat a key, wild cane or orange. The man say him not come out of the bush, him just in the bush. Rain fall wet him in there, sunshine burn him in there, and all he might eat for the period of time when he's there in the bush a wild key and an orange. He say, till after a while, he start to venture out now and say, all right, 
you know, him, him, him want to go see. Remember, you know, the man not no money, you know, the man not no phone, the man not have nothing to contact nobody, you know, the man not have nobody to talk to, you know. The man not living in the bush like a wild animal, you know, man. And the man say, ah, all him dead, he eat a wild key and a orange. So till eventually, you now after a period of time pass, him say, all right, he's going to start to venture out and come out of the bush. The man say, I'm so deep in the bush that him can't even hear a vehicle on the road or nothing because he's so far in the bush him gone. See? Now this is a man where they live in the States. I live in best life. See? Cheryl Campbell, welcome. This is a man where they live in the States. I live in, the, I, I live in best life. And get deported to Jamaica knowing nobody. No family, no friends, nobody. See? Man say, him come out now and when him start to venture out, him say, him start to pick up like all plywood and thing where people dash away. And when him start to pick up all plywood where people dash away, him start to bring them back in a bush. And him start to just bang them round, bang them round, bang them round till him build one like a box. And him say, him venture out and him go find some old zinc. And him bring them and him bang them up on the top and, you know, Jerome Sharp, welcome. And him bring them up and him put them on the top and him create a little roof. And him say sometimes the zinc them rotten, but him put it up same way so that him can get at least a little bit of shelter. And the man say him dead. And that is how he has been living from then until now, up to the point where me I talked to him this morning. Perlene, welcome. See him? She and White, what are going the man said that is how he has been living from then until now. And the man said because of pride, he refused to beg anybody anything. The man said, and suppose may I talk to you right now, this man, not the wee hours of the morning. The man said, me no know your brother and you no know me. But brother, believe me, me living in a hell. But me I make it work. The man said, me I make it work. The man said, one thing I'm not going to do, Unstepple, is I'm not going to go up on the road and go beg nobody nothing. The man said, even as I call you right now this morning, I tell you this only because I'm there, so I need somebody to talk to after watching your show. And I just decide to call you and explain my story to you. And this is not because I look pity or sympathy. I am not going to beg you nothing, my brother. I just didn't want to, to, to just let this out. And the whole time the man I talked to me, he might cry. Right? He said, well, Abraham, remember this was for a period of time, you know, he come out and thing and things start to get a little bit better for him. You understand? The man said, why him start to do? May I get to that part of Abraham? See? The man said, why him start to do? Over the period of time where he living at the bush. Right? Him go so boom now and him start to venture out and why him start to do to get a little bit of money now because as him say him not beg nobody nothing. Him say him, him, him do the lowest set of things then. See? Him say him do the lowest set of things then. Him say him go and him we go cut people grass. Him say him we go sweep up the front of people yard and all them things. Right? He said he would do anything. He said the, the lowest thing where he do, and he not even consider it low, but because he get a couple dollars. The man said, he go a people yard, like sometimes if the garbage truck no come. Right? The man said, if the garbage truck no come, if you come pick up them garbage, he go there and he use him and, and take garbage and stuff the garbage in a plastic bag and empty the garbage bin and carry the garbage, walk with the garbage, go somewhere else, go dump it and, and then give him a little couple hundred dollars and things for do that. And he said that is how he earn some money sometimes so he can buy some things. The man said even before he get the phone where he have now, he used to ask people just to get a call so he can call him girlfriend. And people used to run him and tell him say me it's not cheap. Them now nah, give him no call. So the man said, why I mean up if you do? Him just use a couple, couple of the little dollars where him earn and buy one little phone so that him can reach out to him girlfriend and find out what's going on with him pitney them and thing. The man said, him go and use him and 
and take out rubbish out of people, dump garbage bin at the gate when the when the rubbish truck come late. When the rubbish truck no come for all a week, him just go and use him and pick out garbage out of people. Bin at the yard gate and empty it and walk, go somewhere else, go find one dumpster and throw it in there just to make a couple of dollars. And the man said, when I'm living here right now, I want a piece of box board up with plywood. After me and him done talk this morning, I said to him, say, brother, big man thing, I don't know, your story touch me, brother. You know, I want to help you, I want to do something for you. He said, I'm stopping, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't want you to feel like me, I beg you, nothing. I don't want nothing from you, my family. You know, if you, if, you, if, you, if you decide to bless me up, then I appreciate it, but I don't want you to feel like, say, the reason for that call you yeah, is because I don't want nothing, brother. The man said, I'm trying over and over for try and appeal it. The, deport, the deportation where him get, him say him try over and over and try if he appeal it. Him say him girlfriend try if he appeal it over and over and over and then keep on denying it till it gets so depressing that him stop. Take all kind of money out of him girlfriend for try and fight it till him just stop. You understand? Till him just stop. I asked him, I said, so, if I have to send something to you, what I could have done? Because the man said, I still don't get no idea or nothing at all now. See? The man said, I still don't get no idea or nothing at all now. So I said, so, if I have to send something to you, what I could have done in order for you to get it? He said, brother, I have to reach out back to you and see if I can get somebody to collect it for me or something or somebody near me. So I say you have to be careful though because you know what the same thing reach you again like when it happened in time your girlfriend did not send you money. You know? He said, but brother, I don't have no other way for, for, for do it. You understand? So I say, all right, link me. I wait for him today to call me and I don't get back no call from him. You understand? But hopefully, he call me between tomorrow or Sunday. People believe me. All day to them, I think about it. I think about the situation where the man in and everything where the man got through. And it, re- it, it made me realize, say, yo, some people have got through some things in other world. Where when we think we have it hard, somebody ought to have it harder than how we have it. When we think we have it hard, somebody ought to have it harder than how we have it. So that's why sometimes we have to be grateful for what we have sometimes. We might think that so we don't have everything where we, where, where we need, but somebody have less than you, and somebody have face it worse. After the man done talk to me this morning, I feel like, say, yo, I'm totally blessed because with everything what I brother they explained to me in a one phone call. In a one phone call with everything where the man explained to me people, I feel like say, I'm 100% blessed compared to what him I got through and what him faced for the time frame where he ended up back at Jamaica. And for all of the people, they probably say, yo, so warm to the money way. Him did a work while him did there foreign and all them things. You have to remember, the man get deported with nothing. Him girlfriend did there take care of the picnic them. And I send what she can send for him every now and then. Plus, if you have um, fight the deportation order, say she have to spend up lawyer fees and all of them things. You understand? So it's not like him, him get left with nothing. The whole time the man talked to me, people, almost me broke down in tears to how touching it was when the man talked to me. And the humility where the man have, the whole time, the man talked to me, the man said, Unstoppable, I don't want nothing from you. Please don't think I beg me, I beg you. Don't think I call you to tell you, say, 
I go through this because I beg you. All me did want is just somebody to talk to, brother. And you did seem like the right person. Now, Mr. Alex, I notice you that ask why him did get deported. You know, I never want to stop to answer that, but I got to answer you now. For all of you just forward, he did get deported because him there in the States hanging with the wrong crowd. Blessed, blessed the Morgans. Blessed, blessings, blessings. Right? There in the States, and him did there at the wrong place at the wrong time. You know? The man say, him come from work and just decide one evening after him normally walk past him friend house and just yell him friend we well, sit down and him, 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 him do away at a uh, uh, evening time him say him just walk past him normally at the time but the one evening them decide to stop and all the reasoning with the man and sit down with him and him do away was the evening the cops bust in and push the three of them in the car and car them at the station and then Whoever did own whatever, then pick up off of the ground. Then pass it off by him and say a fee one. And the corrupt police them. And the worthless public defender with them game. Tell him if he own it. And because him own it, I that reach him. People. If him reach out to me tomorrow. And hopefully, him they all are watching the show tonight. You know, I hope him they are watching the show tonight because him tell me, say, the reason why him want me to do this is because him want to know if anybody else a face why I'm a face right now or a go through why I'm go through. The man said, hold on, I'm even forget this part. The man said, somebody tell him, say, after him tell somebody him story, him say, somebody tell him, say, brother, you can set up a little go fund me on Facebook and, you know, people will help you out once you explain your story and thing. The man said, him not really to in the social media thing and him not really know how that work but him just not believe in a begging so from the time the person tell him say him could have set up a facebook page and do that the man say him still not even do it because him just not believe in a begging and him not want nobody look down upon him and say him a less than a man so me even said to him say whether it is not that you would be less than a man you know your situation is real and there are plenty of persons out there who would help you. You have some scammers, yes, who come round and say they in need. But whether your situation is real. So people would have help you. Man say unstoppable. If people out there will help me, it now gonna be through me begging them. And it's not that I wouldn't create a GoFundMe page, whatever that thing that is where I'm say. The man say, so, so him say, you know, him say, it's not that I wouldn't create a GoFundMe page, whatever that thing there is, but I just don't want nobody look down for me as a beggar. The man say, him rather for go and continue cleaning up people's yard, sweep up the front of their yard, pick up rubbish and go dump it. See? Man say, him rather for do that more than for go beg. So people, hopefully, as I say, reach out to me by tomorrow. Chavez Wagwan, blessings. See? Hopefully, him reach out to me by tomorrow or Sunday at least. And I can give you an update as to why I say. Or if, you know, him want me to actually send something. Because I tell him I'm willing to send something for him. You understand? So, Hopefully him call me. Him not call me back today because as I say, when I tell him that, him say, answer probably, I don't want you to feel like I call me call you if I beg you nothing, my brother. The man did actually refuse to accept nothing from me. So I think he would have called me today and give me the information. He him said, him say, when I pressure it and say, All right, brother, I know you are beg me and me are offer. See? I said, brother, I know you are beg me and me are offer. He said, All right, I'm going to try to see if I can find somebody who can collect it for me and we link you back people may we give you an update upon this once me hear back from him you see so until then my hour done gone officially you know it's a good reasoning with everybody hope everybody appreciate what I have people you know 
hope you know, appreciate what you have. That's, 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 that's basically all you need to get from this tonight. Appreciate everything you have. The identification thing, him really definitely need some help to get that because him not have nothing for him mother, him not have nothing for him father. So there is no way to prove that he is actually a Jamaican. So till this day, him not have no identification. Him not have no identification to this day. And that is why he's still in a struggling situation where he's in. A, because the way how the man talk, you know, people, me can hear say, he's a hard-working man and he's a man who's not afraid to go out there and go home. For what. When you hear me say, the man not even want to beg. So imagine if him did have the identification, the necessary IDs where him need to get a job. Him would have go there and go work. But that is the reason why him stuck in the situation where him in for so many years because, you know, without ID, him can't do nothing. Without ID, him can't do nothing. Karen, as I say, as soon as him get back to me, I will try to get all of the necessary information for all of who I ask. You know? As soon as him get back to me, we try to get all of the necessary information for all of the persons who are asking. But we give it out on the live stream. So whoever wants to reach out to him can reach out to him. Or whoever wants to help him can help him in whichever way. But believe me, when I tell you this, he might refuse. He just sound like that kind of person. Then. Um, for all of the persons who are say what about his US ID, I don't know nothing about that part. I never really did ask him that. But then again, what would that have to do with him getting identification in a Jamaica? His US identification wouldn't have nothing to do with him in a Jamaica, though. I don't think so. Yes, he got started out in the US. All right, people, so I'll give you know, an update as soon as me get more. But in the meantime, everybody bless upon yourself. You know, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So once we, once we go live, you get the alert. If a Facebook on the depend, make sure you hit that follow. So you get the notification once we go live each night, 9 o'clock, Monday to Friday. All right. So everybody, big up on yourself. Thanks a lot for joining the show tonight. Totally appreciate it. And you know we always end the show already. No matter what, don't make nobody stop you. It's unstoppable. I'm out, Zane.